Dave Snyder here. It is the 22nd of July, 2018. Got a Copernicus overlay here that's really nice. Um, let me turn the borders off first, I guess. And we'll turn off. Okay, so here we have uh, here we have Copernicus flip it's backwards overlaid over the earth. Check this out. It's a good one. This is a good one. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Right here we have Craters of the Moon National Park. Right here. I mean, come on. It's Craters of the Moon National Park. Look, look where it is. Look at this. This edge, this corner that comes out of Copernicus right here. Near perfect. I mean, I'm not saying I'd have it perfect, but it's, you can see that that's the same thing. Right on the edge of Yellowstone is right here on this side. Look, right on this edge of it. That's pretty interesting. I mean, this is a massive feature. And look at the size. It comes up to the right size at about 250 miles just like I said it was the other time two hundred fifty miles right there that's the same size it is over there in Thailand same size 250 miles that obviously goes there this this crater will show across North America it shows in California where the gold rush took place it shows here where they have the big silver mines in Idaho and that part of that's in Idaho right yeah, uh, pfft, the whole thing's Idaho. Wow. Idaho. <laughs> Idaho. <laughs> Idaho. Idaho. That's funny. <laughs> the big silver mines are up here, I guess, in the panhandle area of Idaho. Wow. Columbia Basin, I mean, interesting. Again, showing the moon to be four and a half times, five times, you know, four times bigger at least, at least the size of the earth. Shows that every day. I mean, you can do this with, I mean, look at that fit. I seen this right here and I said, oh man, that's going to go right there. And there it is. Wow. Pretty obvious. That's a pretty obvious one. I mean, they know about it because they got Craters of the Moon National Park down there. Why would they call it that? Because oh, cause it looks like the Craters of the Moon. No, they call it that because it is a Crater of the Moon. Or it creates the Crater on the Moon or whatever. Sure, there's two big mountains right here that create this. You know, there's a lot of mountains in this area, so there's got to be two big ones right there to create those two big holes. Wow. So I just wanted to point that out. That's a good one. I can see some kind of feature a little off to the side right over there. It probably goes upwards. Like this, watch. I'll copy it. Drag it up. Right about there. see like this edge right here somewhere looks like it goes up along that edge creates that lake move it over a little bit like right there I know you can't see anything here but that doesn't mean that, oh yeah you can see something there see that 
it's there. So I was probably had it right on the first time. Move it over a little bit. About right right there somewhere. The center where that big crack is right there. Looks good to me. Somewhere like that. It looks something like that. Puts that edge still right close. Yep, still there. And this will show all the way across North America. It shows in that we the weather just the other day over Wyoming. Or not Wyoming, but uh, Missouri. There's a big weather spot there the other day. The tornadoes were going on. It probably goes right here, too, in the center of the Great Lakes. I wouldn't doubt it. Turn it. Maybe the moon turns or something a little bit. Put the something created superior. There's Lake Michigan. Alright, have a good day. Thanks for watching.